I want to be the best ever, you know, uh, the best quarterback ever, the best person ever, you know, just the best overall. And I'm willing to do anything it takes to, to be that and achieve that. So uh, that's why anything that wants me should get me. It's time now for One Thing About Him Is, where I introduce you to some of the most intriguing prospects in the 2023 NFL Draft. Ooh, and here we go. Today I'm talking about that guy, Florida quarterback Anthony Richardson. Why is he intriguing? Because I always look at the draft class and I say, where's the most polarizing guy? Where's the blue cheese? Where's the crypto? People either love it or they hate it. Circle that guy and let's size him up because he is about the most polarizing cat I have ever seen. He's got incredible tantalizing, tempting upside. And he has some analysts calling for him to be the number one overall pick. But there's, of course, questions about his mechanics, about his accuracy, and others say he shouldn't even be going till day two or three. Like, not until the mascots are making the pick should this guy go off the board. It's completely all over the map. And while the debate's going to continue over the next month, the only thing about Anthony Richard, Richardson is that his confidence isn't going to waver. That's the only thing that's not going to change. Listen to him when he's asked about who he modeled his game after growing up. Uh, growing up, it was always Cam Newton for me. Uh, but then when I got to high school, just seeing how dynamic Lamar was, uh, I tried to implement both of those guys uh, in my life. And uh, I started calling myself Cam Jackson in 11th grade, you know, <laughs> just trying to make big plays, you know, so uh, just Cam Newton and, and Lamar Jackson. Do you know what it takes to have the guts to call yourself Cam Jackson as a junior in high school like he did? Anthony Richardson, he's got he's got go to the Vanity Fair Oscar party confidence. He's got shows up and runs the room with the world's most influential and beautiful people confidence. That is who he is. And he's done that for years now. So far, Richardson's done his best to look like a combo of Cam and Jackson. This combine performance, you know, we all saw it, we watched. It was Cam-like. It was 6'4", it was 244 pounds. What else do you need? He showed Lamar-level explosiveness. He set quarterback records. It was a 4'4", 340, and a, he had a 40 and a half inch vert. 10 foot 9 inch broad jump. I don't really know what that tells you, but that's not for me to decide and talk about it. Leave that to Daniel Jeremiah and company. But he also was unleashing bombs, 60 yard throws, a barrage of them. And we hear that he crushed the interviews. Now, I don't want to just dismiss these questions that are, are valid and people have them about the game. We've talked now to Yogi Roth, who sizes up his quarterbacks better than anyone. We've talked to Chris Collinsworth about Anthony Richardson, a la his alma mater. Uh, and people have questions about his game. Those are l valid. But if I'm going after a quarterback in this draft, if I'm one of these quarterback needy teams and there's not like one great guy overall and everybody's talking about even the Panthers after making the trade with the Bears to trade down because there's not one that's that much better, I'm swinging for the fences. And I know that's easy to say and I'm not the one making these decisions, but I don't know if there's ever been a prospect with more physical upside than Anthony Richardson. Give me... Cam Jackson in this. Hamilton, get in here. I, I just, I'm usually not like this because I like this, you know, give me the safe thing, but he's a little bit, he's just different. Why not swing for the high potential? I'm with you, especially if you're a team that has a veteran guy in the room and you don't have to play him right away when you can work on him a little bit, develop him. The ceiling is as high, I think, as any prospect that I've seen with what he can do athletically with the arm strength. So I'm with you. Go in, take a shot at the guy that has that high ceiling. 